Hi everybody, welcome to Tupper Topher's Tupperware World. Today we are going to talk about the microwave pasta maker and we're going to make a recipe, garlic and bacon macaroni and cheese. Already in here I have 12 ounces of elbow noodles as instructed. And this is a great product because it doesn't heat up your house as well as it's kid friendly so it works both ways. We're going to add four cups of water using the micro pitchers here. These are microwave safe which is very important. You can melt your butter in it and not have to worry about damaging your product. Alright, four cups of water, 12 ounces of noodles, cover goes on. Gonna put this in the microwave for 10 to 12 minutes until it's as done as you like it. So I will see you in a few minutes. Hi again, we're back. So first things first, I forgot to tell you. When the pasta goes in, do not use the cover. I took it off before I started it, but I forgot to tell you all that. So we're going to pull the pasta out. It's, it is very warm to the touch, so I would recommend pile holders, but I'm used to it, so the stay cool doesn't bother me. And you'll notice here on the edge is actually drain spout. So what we're going to do for this recipe is we're going to put our um, measure cup here in the sink. We're going to put our lid on, and you notice this side is larger than this side. This is your draining side. This is the non-draining side. It does say to reserve the water just in case, so that's all I'm doing while I drain. The only reason we're reserving the water is in case the cheese does not give us enough sauce the way we want it. So the good thing about this too is it's a one pot side dish or meal. So we're going to add everything right back into the pasta cooker. We have six tablespoons of unsalted butter. I cut it up just so it's easier to melt down. A half a cup of whole milk, and it does specifically say whole, so if you're a one percenter or a two percenter, you might want to reconsider for this recipe. I'm just trying to push the butter in so it starts to melt a little bit. Then we are going to add our seasonings. It is a half a teaspoon each of ground mustard and garlic powder. And I know most people would not use the same spoon in two different spices. I'm not that picky. So I'm just going to give that a little mix to get the seasoning into the liquid before we add the cheeses in. And I don't think we're actually going to need any of that extra liquid that we saved, but we'll see what happens. Next is a cup of shredded Parmesan. A cup of shredded sharp cheddar, which I just lost some. <laughs> and then we are going to add in three quarters of a cup of chopped up bacon. I buy the real bacon that's already in the pouches and broken because we use a lot of salads in our house, so it's something to have on hand rather than pulling out a frying pan just to make some bacon. And mix it, mix it, mix it. I am actually going to, because this seems a little full for this, I'm going to switch it over to one of my Tupperware mixing bowls just so I can really get in there and mix better. This piece is from a set that we had over the summer for grilling. The mixing bowl, this particular one is not available, but there are plenty of other options for us. Yeah, much better mixing now. So all we're doing is melting that cheese in and we will be good to go. Because that definitely looks nice and creamy, so we shouldn't need the extra pasta water, starchy water, as Rachel Ray likes to call it. 
And I must say, this is looking pretty good. It smells amazing if you could smell it. And there you have it, folks. Garlic, bacon, mac and cheese. Made in, what, 20, 25 minutes tops. The pasta cooked in the micro cooker for, it was actually 13 minutes in my, to my liking. And then it was maybe five minutes of just mixing in the rest of the ingredients. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned. We will be doing another feature soon with another product. As always, any questions, please feel free to message me directly and I will help you out. Thank you for joining Tupper Topher. We'll see you next time.